Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of uh, Diaries of Death. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey into the world of Warcraft Hardcore Stitches uh, server run where we are uh, playing as a Frostmage. We've made it to the Hinterlands in uh, your absence as a viewer. I got myself uh, into fishing. We now have 225 fishing. And we're going to uh, do that even a little bit more because there are a couple of recipes, endgame alchemy uh, recipes that will require us uh, to do even more uh, fishing. Uh, plus it is, uh, for all intents and purposes, quite lucrative. However, um, you need a good fishing rod and the first uh, quest that we're going to do uh, is exactly that, getting a good uh, fishing rod. Snapjaws Man uh, is a horde only quest uh, that we can use in order to uh, kill these turtles. And as a nice little reward uh, for that quest, we're going to get uh, the best obtainable fishing rod other than winning the Booty Bay uh, Challenge or being a high level engineer. So, that in itself is already worth quite a bit. Uh, the Snapjaws are easy now at our level now that we are at level 48 uh, things are no longer uh, orange for us so we can simply go through them on top of it uh, they do have nice uh, zest uh, zesty clam meat which by the way uh, is something that we can use yet again for cooking so you can see how all things are slowly coming uh, together this quest is not going to be terribly exciting because in reality all i'm going to do is i'm grinding down uh, 15 of these bad boys and whilst doing that we're also collecting some halberry of this uh, port uh, which is the rum that has been uh, deployed all over uh, the uh, coastline the only thing that we need to make sure it's not happening is us triggering the elite uh, the uh, aggressive 48 elite uh, stand draw but yeah that's not going to happen or it will be okay anyways uh, that's it for now fast forwarding uh mountain after this quest all right fourth uh fourth following we had uh, killed all of uh, the uh, turtles and now we're uh, and we collected the rubber of course How could i have forgotten about that and now we are a little bit further in and we're fighting unseen wolves i think it's the only canine version of the uh, world of warcraft that's actually in classic world of warcraft that's actually hiding uh, these are nasty little buggers uh, here in the hin hinterlands and uh, not only are we going to kill those but we are also a couple of trolls uh, that we need for the scepters as well as a troll that I wanted to showcase to you. So, never underestimate the patrols, you know. They're coming in whenever you least expect it. Guys, if you pull them, single pull them, they are not a big uh, threat. But if you multi pull them, they can become one. But we're getting rid of the other patrol and that moving in. We need to kill quite a few folks. By the way, hinterlands one of the fantastic areas where there are quite a few uh, group uh, quests. Unfortunately, we just can't uh, do them because we have no one to team up with. I will try to, to find uh, people to, uh, to do the quests here. But yeah, just doing them alone there is in one in particular the ancient egg which is quite uh, funny because that whole city here is a elite uh, place and that's also where we would finish the mullet uh, for the uh, where we could 
spawn an extra boss, the one that we did not have the last time. I already obtained it here, another, uh, but we need to put it on the altar in order to make it uh, work and have it. Good, I fear that Nina might not be here. Likely that they are going to spawn just right after we killed everyone. Nah, that's unfortunate. Good, we get a chest for our uh, for our efforts here. A for effort and I'll fast forward uh, showing you maybe one of uh, the stealth dogs so one is near right there uh, and yeah, they have a relatively small detection radius there's the second one by the way and that's exactly where fi uh, why fighting them can be a bit of a challenge for a ranged caster Good, let's see if I can get uh, the other stalker down. So, uh, these guys, we need to kill 15 off, and as you can see, I've already done a fair share of it. Very good, so that worked out nicely. Now I will fast forward for you guys, uh, because I'm just going to kill the other stalkers, and uh, we're moving a little bit further uh, to over here. Moving right into the next area where my favorite type of enemies are. These here are savage owl beasts. Uh, average amount of hit points, no special abilities, uh, easy to spot. And on top of that, these guys drop giant eggs, which we can use in order to make monster omelets, uh, the best food in classic WoW. Or one of the best foods. Uh, there are a couple of equivalently good ones, and for hardcore in particular, that's going to be so so helpful. Having that extra 12 uh, stamina is 120 hit points. So, on top of that, uh, they are dropping feathers, uh, which uh, we could use for the Dark Moon Fair, uh, as and when that comes. Um, yeah, I think they are. So yeah, we could use uh, that. So plenty of leverage that you get out of just one type of enemy. And in our case, we need to kill 20 of them for a quest. So that's a no-brainer. You don't need to pay me in order to slay savage owl beasts. I'll do it for free. Just as we were discussing what we would need to do for free, there is a razor beak uh, skyward which has a quest item or potential drop that we're looking for, Skylord's Plume. There we go. Wonderful. Now, whilst uh, the savage owl bear or owl beast population needs a serious reforestation and repopulation by the local rangers, because I made them ex go almost extinct, we're turning our attention to the next target, which is over here. A sticky situation where we need to fight our way through a couple of wolves. Not my favorite enemy, if I may say so and uh, get to a couple of clickable items so really what that means is lots and lots of grinding uh, through these hoops they don't have any particular strong abilities nor fast, but these tend to be you know annoying all right i'll clear this and uh, showcase some highlights
Good. So we got ourselves uh, the lost tools. They can spawn randomly in one of four or five locations, so they are a pain to get. Uh, luckily for us, we already got them. And if I recall correctly, yep, there are a couple of more items up here. Well, certainly not just some food. Uh, going to do us any good um, yeah we need the honey ripples next let me see if I can get uh, to them as I figured they are within the cave so we will have to fight our way through that and hardpoint caves uh, don't really go that well hand in hand So, yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for, the supply crates. All right, uh, let's do this. For starters, whenever we go into a cave, it's ice armor. Realizing we're running very low on this space, so after this cave, I think what we're going to do is we're just trading a few quests. Uh, elsewise, we're losing so much potential loot value. Oh, we even got ghost mushrooms, perfect. So, a few more crates here. Luckily, slimes don't patrol, uh, so this should be relatively straightforward. But yeah, I think we need about 10 of these crates. Holy schmokes. Wow, oh, we already got respawned from behind. And we have plenty of stuff to clean up, man. I think there is, uh, this are also funny because I have not seen a single rare ooze yet. Uh, these guys are basically just existing. And by the way, I stand corrected. Man, they are patrolling. What in the world would a patrolling ooze do? And of course, you do have your random. I now figured out these are Chinese pharma uh, bots. You can see zero self awareness, and their pets are always just called standard name of uh, the pet. Set to aggressive. Around and start. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's going to help us clear the cave. I'll fast forward until we get a few more of the items. Okay, we're almost done with the cave. Good news is we got uh, some of the ghost mushrooms, which are worth quite uh, quite a penny. One and a half gold each is what they're going for on the server. And the other good news is we're now done here, which means we can nicely get out. Continue our owl bear rage and yeah, th slowly make our way back to camp because that's what we wanted to do. Free up some space. Hunter just nicely runs into it, um, into the enemy. Yeah, that is clearly a bot, but someone is buying gold off of them, so. We are all part of uh, that economy or that problem. And if no one would purchase gold off of them, then they wouldn't bot. Anyways, let me finish 
the uh, remaining owlbears. Of course, we're not going into the camp without um, Lard's lunch. And of course, that is not easily obtainable other than fighting a couple of kidnappers. Luckily, my class is absolutely imbalanced and I can control them quite well. Good, that's two down. Eating a mana crystal just in case. And there is the lunch kidnapper. Thank you. Time for a trade-in. I promised a good angle, and this one here is actually not too bad. It's also a reasonably good weapon. So now we got uh, the best angle. And it's worth almost three gold on the uh, vendor. That's not too bad. Lard, to fight for your lunch, so you better pay me well for that. He did pay as well. And we got some random loot. Actually not too bad. For some caster shaman, for instance. Separation anxiety is another group quest, so that's not going to happen. And we had another quest here. You can see the quest rewards are starting to add up, which is uh, not too bad. Plus, that here isn't bad either. Very good. We just earned around 15 gold just by trading in those quests. And uh, next up, we're going to go back. Still, some owl bears to kill, then some trolls uh, to go through. And what else do we have? A bit more howlers. Uh, these are going to be the level 48 versions of the dogs. And then we do have a potential uh, situation here uh, where we are fighting High Vale. These are archers and, um, and rangers. So that's a, that's a nasty combination for us. Lots of bow uh, wielding characters plus uh, Rinji uh, is an escort quest if if and uh, when we're clearing most of that we can free Rinji uh, which would uh, not be too bad plus we have a quest here just riding around uh, the hill and doing the sticky situation all right uh, lots to do in the hinterlands let's get cracking all right Taz Dingo man I got myself uh, a good spirit of Zalandar which is world buff from Zul, uh, Zul Group. Um, that will be great. 15% for all stats and uh, 15 or 10% movement speed. Yeah, 10% movement speed. So that's great. It's effectively an additional arcane intellect, additional stamina buff, um, a bit of a mark of a uh, wild, and a spirit buff plus some movement speed in one. Uh, that will last for two hours, so good for us. I went to Booty Bay real quick. Um, that's one of the things on the hardcore servers. 
that is fun uh, because all of a sudden uh, people are tracking uh, world buffs and uh, will announce them so uh, i took that opportunity we are going back to the savage owl beast as well as a couple of our uh, trolls so that's uh, next let's grind them down all right so in the meantime a acquaintance that I met during the leveling process has kindly asked me would it be possible to do a couple of the quests here in the hinterlands together mainly his escort quest and so on uh, which we have already done but you know I mean uh, the one good part about uh, this experience or this journey is people are really helping each other so I will of course try to be helpful as well um, and we might be able to tackle a couple of the elite uh, or group content, um, which is rare. So uh, let's see how it goes. Once he arrives, we can give it a try. Okay, so our friend arrived. Let me introduce uh, Darkic to you guys. Uh, Darkic, uh, I don't know if I recorded that, helped me in Booty Bay. Uh, with uh, one of the ship quests that is actually uh, rather difficult um, one of the few times uh, that I grouped up um, and ever since we stayed in loose contact so he asked can we do a couple of hinterland stuff together and I was like yeah hell yeah mate no problem uh, so uh, that's not an issue um, our target uh, will be uh, this here but be, um, for the mallet in Zulfarak um, That will allow us to, if and when we are going for the dungeon, spawn another um, extra boss. In the meantime, let's click off our damp magic because we do have a bigger. Let's give ourselves frost armor because we will need it. And... That it's time for Kiwara the Keeper. She has a couple of nasty shadow bolts. But we should be fine. friend there and peppers me with uh, shadow world, so I don't like that at all and shadow world pain but we're good here uh, more to uh, the keeper same ordeal has shadow uh, has shadow bolts uh, but also a healing uh, she's not needed for the mallet uh, she's just the acquaintance so to speak
good. So that's quest number one. Uh, the next one will be one over here. Message uh, to uh, the Wild Hammer. All right, first off, we're doing a little bit of a quest trade in with our buddy here. sending a small <clears throat> message to these guys good the interesting part about uh, those marksmen is remember uh, when I said this is going to be not a lot of fun because every single one of them uh, has a bow them right that's exactly that quest about doing it with two people is you end up with one taking the fire and the other one can freely cast and you can see we're going through them like a hot knife through butter they didn't invent the moonkin form yet I might be wrong but... so he's balanced druid all right he was even kind enough to share lines of communication which is a quest that he brought to the table see that's the cool part about it uh, people are super friendly on hardcore Everybody is fighting against the environment. I think it attracts, uh, at least from what I've seen so far, very few toxic people anywhere level 20 plus. feel sufficiently buffed yeah we're going through that uh, there's a cool escort quest in here as well besides burning all of the other records uh, so we're going to do that I'm sure all right time to move into the building I just clarified we need yet another report and then uh, there is the escort quest Moonkin, by the way, or Balanced Druid, is the spec that is most similar to uh, the Mage uh, feel. Um, I played that also in arenas. Very similar toolkit, it's a bit different. Uh, a 
a bit different, but uh, still very, very similar. It has a strong uh, single nu uh, nuke, can crowd control to a degree. Uh, does have a couple more healing options, but generally uh, plays very much um, like a mage from all of uh, the other builds. you can appreciate us um, going through here very different story compared to uh, you doing that alone because uh, all of a sudden respawn uh, would become a much uh, larger topic Let's get to full mana before we uh, start uh, the quest. Here we go. Ringy is free. And not only would Ringy walk into plenty of trouble, uh, there are, of course, going to be quite a bit um, of ambushes along the way. As is tradition with any form of um escort quest using the downtime to buff always taking a couple of zips between so that we're never dropping too low and Rinji can be happy that he has gotten such a good support tanking for us. Yeah, anyway, with two people, uh, three mobs are not a big problem. To be fair, I could have done that alone, but uh, always nice to have an extra body around. You should not underestimate as a caster just how much it sucks to have two rangers continuously plowing away at you, um, because these little interruptions add up and if you just get enough of them you'll be in trouble simply because you can't really uh, continue your casting all right Rinji is almost at his location 
I have to wonder, is there another ambush? The answer is yes. And the problem is if you ambush them uh, first or attack them first, sometimes the NPCs, the escort NPCs just don't realize that there's even a fight going on. job um, let's try and turn the remaining enemies uh, there scouts and uh, out uh, runners then a chicken okay very good I'll fast forward that for you guys nice we even found a rare mob Advantage of playing on a low population uh, server, I suppose. Everything is always up. Not bad. All right. After finishing our quest, I helped my friend here with his chicken quest. I'll show off my little. Uh, I'll show off my little uh, chicken companion. And yeah, uh, we are going to do a, another elite quest here for him, uh, just killing an elite. Uh, and then we're pretty much on the same uh, step, I think. Uh, let's see if we can do the ancient egg. That would be great, because uh, then we can finish the mullet of uh, Zulfarak. Alright, trading in our quest from uh, the... Uh, from freeing Rinjin. And got Rinjin's secret. Which is a follow-up. Uh, we can do that as well. Uh, need to go to the Undercity for it. Alright, let's uh, do the quest for my friend. Good, as we're doing Lard's lunch for him, let's uh, help him out a little bit. <laughs> a little bit more difficult. He does not have the necessary control to get all three of them down. Good. Time for quest trade-ins, and then we're ready. Time to hand in our quests. And there are even a couple of cool quests which we might attempt. These guys are bringing the, uh, the nice beats.
Good, we got quite a few uh, quests actually. Let's let's see what else we get. We get. We got all of the quests so what do we need to do uh well that's the solo quest that one is a solo quest as well so it's easy uh but we got a lot of quests here dark vessels um which will be great then the vile branch berserkers job opening that will require more people yep tainted blood yep and Vibrange Guard, as well as, I think, the boss himself, right? All right, let's wait for our colleague to arrive, and then hopefully we can three-person that quest. All right, some group play. We are going into the elite uh, city here. Double Frost Mage plus Moonkin. That's going to be fun. So that's almost like an outdoor dungeon here. People are on hardcore very very careful with that dungeon because it's super easy to add something in the city and then all of a sudden be screwed. I'll be certainly running Ice Armor and unfortunately the world buff is now gone. But as long as we're a single pulling we should be fine. need to die So on top of that, we need to get Huntsman's Malkor and Huntsman Bone. Bring the Ancient Egg. Uh, mm. uh, to somewhere. Then we need to kill Berserkers, Shadow Hunters, Blood Drinkers and Soul Eaters. So yeah, plenty to do. I'll fast forward until the interesting parts. Okay, little status update so far we're working our way deeper into the um, actual uh, city we haven't found a lot of the vessels yet and to be fair not many of uh, the higher level enemies either but i'm confident that we're soon going to find that 
Got a careful group. Everybody is really on their toes here. So that's good. Uh, not a single situation where we had to deal with anything uh, difficult at the moment. We do have a lot of crowd control, but which is a big plus. forwarding good we've now reached kind of the third layer of this pretty sizable uh, city which is where the cast is starting not a bad thing nice. uh, these guys deal less damage than the melees So, let's plow on. I'll give you more updates. Alright, we have reached the third upper layer of the uh, city. Gosh damn, that uh, city is big. We're now fighting against Hyde Skinners. That goes over before. These guys uh, do have backstab, so poison, so we gotta be very careful. And we got uh, Shadow Hunters, which we, by the way, need for our quest, so we're getting closer. These guys have Shadow World Pain and the Shoot Ability, plus Runaway, so well, this is where it becomes interesting. Alright, we reached level 4 of uh, this complex. It's getting broader and broader. This city is huge. Good, let me continue as we're going strong. Alright, we cleared the fourth layer. That was a big layer, and we're now on our way to the fifth layer. Which is getting closer and closer to the actual altar, if I recall correctly. Boy, this place is massive with a with a capital M. Actually, I take that back, it's all caps. Massive. Really big city. All right, fast forwarding. Fabulous. So we managed to make it all the way up to an altar uh, where Elder Toon is kidnapped. Torrentusk, not Toonsk. Time for Vile Priestress Hex, one of the bosses here. But with double copy spell, she's not healing anymore. There we go. So, one down. I think this is the altar for the Molot. Yep. Nice. We got the Molot of Sufrak.
Fabulous. That's why I came here for, but everything else is a nice little bonus, I guess. Gosh damn it, I'm so full of loot. Good, next up we do have uh, that elite quest here. Alright, off we go. Right into a cave system. In an elite quest, what can possibly go wrong? By the way, I forgot to say, we dinked level 49 on our way here. Uh, just due to all of uh, the immense killing of elite mobs. That was fun. Currently finishing uh, finishing uh, the cave here and with two mages it's relatively safe I must uh, say because uh, whenever we do have net like uh, we just had you're essentially ending up with a sheep and even if that wouldn't work out you have a second sheep. So we can take up three without a problem. Four if we use a tango. And I would have some sleep dust. I'm not sure if we have enough mana for five though. Maybe once due to application. Anyways, as you can see, we're doing very well. Currently trying to get uh, the key for the guy on the altar. Shackle key. And I'm personally happy because I got Zul, uh, the mallet of Zulfarak. Which is fantastic. Now we can spawn an additional enemy and I really want to do another run of uh, Zulfarak. Uh, that would be great. Alright, plowing on. Alright, we're fighting the boss and uh, the boss in here does have two adds and as you can imagine double sheet comes in super handy that's exactly what I was referring to just need to make sure that I'm not pulling another ad quite hard. Yeah, like I said, we can potentially take more than three, but uh, we will run into mana issues. All right, time for us uh, to trade in yet again after recovering the key. Fantastic. Very good. Uh, we still need a couple of vessels and a few more kills. Uh, we'll get that in a sec. All right, we get yet another quest item. The School of Huntsman Yeller. in the quests in under city um, the character looks a little bit different now because we found this here an indicated uh, nobleman's tunic not particularly the best item but 13 spell power is super good and 10 stamina and intelligence is nothing to scoff at either so 
I really like that reward. Uh, what else are we getting uh, from the quest other than massive experience? So, hmm, that's a tough one, man. 22 spell power. Uh, that is too good to pass it uh, by. We're going to lose um, 11 stamina. Nah, that's going to hurt a little bit. But uh, the spell power is too good. So, if we're taking a look now, we got 22 spell power, we got another 8 spell power, that's oh, 30, uh, 39, 51, and 13, so four, uh, 64 spell power. Well, that's not bad. Um, that um, offhand item is likely better than the one that we're having. Minor spell power loss, but massive uh, gain in uh, in mana. Yeah, that's another pretty sizable upgrade. We regain some stamina and uh, some mana. That would not be bad either. Six string, ah, but it's not too good for us. That is really good for us. Holy smokes. And another 6,000. Look at that. Half a level of experience just by doing the elite quest. That was such a valuable run. And I just wanted to have uh, the... Uh, Mallet of uh, Zulfarak, to be honest. Okay, cool. So, uh, let me just count together where we are at the moment from spell power. Alright, that's uh, 73 spell power, and <clears throat> we got quite a bit of a mana upgrade. So, to be fair, that was the best thing that <clears throat> could have happened to the character. Because, yes, dungeon runs <clears throat> would get you um, potentially better equipment, but we got six items out of that run and a massive, massive experience boost. <clears throat> so I am very happy with how that worked out. Oh, and I forgot we got our first trinket. Not, not that attack power is particularly good. Um, but you know what? It, it is something we got a trinket. Fortunately, there was no mage option for that. All right, cool. So let's see. I think uh, we are pretty far into that episode, so <clears throat> I'll potentially do some selling and cleaning up of the bank. But I would like to also double check what else we need to do. Uh, the Ancient Egg is another quest that we need to bring to Tenaris. Well, that's going to be good. Uh, likewise, uh, the Tendron. And we need to deliver uh, stuff to Ogrimar. Before we do all of that, I don't want to leave here without getting at least the Scalpers down. And yeah, the long elegant feathers we can get, we can do that in Feralis, but I'll get the scalpers uh, next and I'll do that off the uh, screen for now. That's the end of today's episode. I need to take care of my little one and I wish you all the best. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.